Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial we are going to be creating the corner to corner stitch. This is a really fun stitch and you can use it for a lot of different projects but I think the most popular would probably be a blanket or a dishcloth. It's really really easy to work up so let's get started. So for supplies for today, I'm going to be using this paint box yarn. It is a size 4, 100% cotton yarn. If you're creating a dishcloth, this is definitely the type of yarn you're going to want to use. Um, but realistically, you could use any type of yarn for this stitch. I'm also going to be using my 5mm crochet hook from Crochet Society. You'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in your ends at the end of the project. So once we've gathered all of our supplies, we will get into it. All right, so for this stitch, as um, the name suggests, we are gonna be working from one corner, um, going outwards to the two points, and then going backwards back to the corner again, which will make more sense once we get started. So to begin, we're gonna start with a slip knot. So we're gonna wrap around our finger pull up and over, grab that back piece of yarn and pull off our finger like so. Now for this specific stitch, we're gonna be working in clusters. So to create our first cluster, we're gonna start off by chaining six. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's three, four, five and six just like so now what we're going to do is we're going to place one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so not this one not this one not this one but this one so yarn over into the fourth chain we're going to place a double crochet yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and then in the next chain we're going to place another double crochet yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and in the last chain or i guess it'd be the very first chain we created we're going to place one more double crochet yarn over pull through yarn over pull through And that is your first cluster for your corner to corner stitch. And that is row one completed. So moving on to row two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna create another cluster. So on the fourth chain from your hook, we're going to place a double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the fourth chain from your hook, create a double crochet, and then into the next chain as well, so the fifth chain, we'll place a double crochet, and into that last chain as well, or the sixth chain, we'll place another double crochet. And this is what we're looking like right now. Now I know you're probably thinking, I don't know what to do now, <laughs> where do I go? So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this bottom piece like so. And we're gonna work into that chain space at the very beginning that we made and we're gonna place our hook into that chain space and we're gonna place a slip stitch here, like that. Now we're going to chain three and we're gonna work directly into that chain space with three double crochets. So one, two, three. Now we've created another bundle. 
So this is the first bundle we did for row one, and now we've created two more for row two, and that is row two completed. Now we'll move on to row three. So for row three, we're gonna start off by chaining six. Three, four, five, six. Again, we're gonna place our double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And in the fifth chain, and sixth chain, and this is how we're looking. Now this over here is the chain space that we want to work into, so we're going to flip this piece of work here, and we're going to insert our hook into this chain space right here and place a slip stitch like that. Then we're gonna chain three, and we're gonna place three double crochets. So anytime you're working into the chain space like this, it's a chain three with three double crochets. You're only chaining six on the edges, and that's basically an increased stitch. So now we've done this cluster here. Now we're going to move into this chain space on this stitch. So insert our hook and place a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain three and we're going to place three double crochets in that stitch as well. And that is row three complete. And you can always tell what row you're on is because the amount of stitches you have is what row you're on. So this has three clusters. So this is row three. Now we're gonna move on to row four. So to begin row four, we're gonna chain six, four, five, six. Place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. one, into the fifth chain, and into that sixth chain. Just like so. We're going to flip our work, make a slip stitch into that chain space, chain three, three double crochets in that chain space, one, two, three, slip stitch into this next chain space, three chain, and three double crochets, one, two, three, slip stitch into this last stitch, chain three, and place three double crochets. Like that. So this is where we started over here. So we have a little triangle, just like that. Now I'm gonna show you how to decrease back down. So we've done four rows up with these two being our corner and this is a corner as well. So now we're gonna work back down the V to create our fourth corner. So to begin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain three. So normally in this area, we would chain six to create an increase, but we're gonna start decreasing. So we wanna chain three. We're gonna turn our work, and we're gonna place a slip stitch into this chain space right here, like that. Then we're gonna chain three again, and we're working right back into this chain space that we're already in. We're gonna place three more double crochets, one, 
two, three, slip stitch into the next chain space, chain three, and three double crochets, two, three, slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets, one, two, three, slip stitch. Now here we're going to chain three and we're going to flip our work and we're going to slip stitch into this first chain space. So now you can see that we're creating our corners here. And now we only have three clusters. So we're going to chain three and we're going to work right back into that same space that we're already in with three double crochets. One, two, three, slip stitch. Chain three with three double crochets, two, and three. Now we're going to slip stitch into this chain space, chain three, turn our work and work into this chain space. Now we only have one stitch left to make, one cluster, chain three, with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into this last stitch here. Now we're just going to cut our work here and I'm going to pull this through and there are our crochet corner to corner. So we started at this corner over here and we ended over here and now we have this little square. So you can really use this stitch for anything. It'd be great for a dishcloth. I've used it for blankets and it's beautiful. Um, after this I would just weave in my ends with my darning needle and it would be all done. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Please let us know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Otherwise we hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!